Welcome back to Secret Weapons, and today we're taking a look at Eventide Rose. Now I know that if you haven't seen this pedal yet, you at least know the company Eventide. They make big box delays that are almost formative to what most of us have on our pedal boards at this point. Uh, the space and the time factor are just industry standards. This mono analog delay has up to 50 seconds of delay time in it through the delay multiplier on here. The reverse control on this is one of my favorite reverse delays I've ever played. This might be my favorite reverse delay I've ever played in my entire life. And I think that's in large part due to the long delay time and the amazing warm resonant analog filter control on this thing. The EQ curve when you dial back the filter on here is wonderful. The modulation engine is big and lush and expansive and sounds super 3D. It can get really intense and borderline crazy when you really crank it, but there's some really great sweet spots in the middle. When you really dig into the front plate on this pedal, you'll see a lot of information you have access to. You have your expression pedal ins right here, which can be MIDI, auxiliary, expression pedal, whatever you want, as well as the bypass type that you're in relay, buffered, or kill dry. Over here you have five different modulation shapes and they are very distinct and they're very cool. We're not gonna go into all of them in this video just because that information's out there if you want it. Uh, watch Eventide's videos, watch uh, any one of the amazing demos that are out there for that if you want like a run down play by play of every single thing that this pedal can do. What I want to talk about right now is my specific applications for it. The reverse delay on this pedal is amazing. It might be the best reverse delay I've ever played with in my entire life. It is responsive, it is warm, it is subtle. It sits under your guitar really, really well in a way that kind of creates that spacious, long decay thing that sounds so amazing without sitting on top of your signal. And I think the reason for that is the insane delay time on this thing. The ability to use that delay multiplier to get you into like the 30 to 50 second range for delay is really beautiful and it's really, really crazy. And speaking of that delay multiplier, this little triangle right here, that is your delay multiplier and it can be set to extend your delay time by two, three, four, or five X, which means that if you're dealing with five seconds of delay and you hit that when it's set to two X, all of a sudden you have 10 seconds of delay. And that doubling or half speed right there will also give you that pitch shifting that sounds so cool with this pedal. You can play in a part, hit that to half speed and have that reverse delay or forward delay and have that reverse delay come drifting back to you an octave below where it originally was. Or you could do the exact opposite and have it come flying back at you at double speed, an octave up, especially with reverse delay, that kind of thing sounds amazing. And this pedal does that really well, especially those octaves up which only work well with a really strong filter control and the low pass filter on this is beautiful. At the crazy short delay times, which you get by pressing in your delay time knob and twisting it because you have, you, have, you have pressed in for like the sections of delay that you have access to and then regular twisting of the knob for kind of fine tuning that time. But when you have it at the absolute minimum, it's near zero. And when you have it there, you all of a sudden get these really amazing chorus and Leslie modulation tones. You can get even into flanging and phasing when you start playing with that feedback control. It is amazing. You get really, really great lush modulation out of this pedal. And in those incredibly short delay times, you can press the little loop-de-loopy -loop thing. I don't know what that icon's called. You can press that in those short delay times and get a comb filtering where as you change your filter, it starts really aggressively cutting frequencies out of your dry signal. Really cool, you can get some really cool like low cut and high cut sounds out of that. One of my favorite things about this pedal is how long you can crank that feedback for without getting like oscillation. You can, you can let this thing run for what feels like forever. Honestly, sometimes I have trouble writing songs with this pedal because I will literally get that delay time all the way out turn that feedback all the way up and dial in like a really lo-fi kind of cool like next room over sound on the filter go to almost full wet max on this thing and then just kind of play reverse delay stuff and let it decay for like 15 20 minutes by the way this is a true story the weekend that i got this my wife and i were cleaning the house i did exactly that i just set this thing up so that it would decay for almost forever and we cleaned the house while this thing just kind of slowly tore apart like some simple guitar parts and it was the most cathartic thing in the world. So let's talk about some issues I do have with this. No pedal is perfect. 
I've said it in reviews before, it will always be true. If this was a stereo delay, it would be game over. Although, if this was a stereo delay, it would be the single most powerful stereo analog delay ever made. So we take what we can get. But I think some more reasonable gripes would be the lack of subdivisions for tap tempo. You're only ever tapping in at quarter notes. And if you want subdivisions, uh, you'll have to go to MIDI for that. Uh, the only other issue I really have is in buffered mode, which is what I want on almost all my delay and reverb pedals so that I can let those trails keep going. In the buffered mode on this pedal, it is always picking up signal you're sending in. So if you have it turned off and are playing, when you turn it on, it will start playing the feedback loop of the stuff that picked up while the pedal was disengaged. So it's kind of a weird quirk, but just be aware of that. I have it, I have it set to, I have it set to true bypass because of that. One of my other favorite things about this pedal is the MIDI integration. With so many controls on this faceplate that you want to be able to get to, especially the little things like the reverse mode and the delay multiplier and the ability to change what that multiplier actually is in terms of the value that, it, that it's um, changing. Something like a MIDI controller can be crucial and this pedal works great with MIDI. In fact, For all the clips that you're going to be hearing today, I've had my morning star sitting on the ground underneath the table that I keep my pedal board on so that I can make all those changes. I currently have this set up so that you can bypass the pedal, change forward to reverse, hit the delay multiplier from full to multiplied and back again, adjust what that multiplier value is, and trigger the infinite repeat mode. In my opinion, something like this is crucial to really unlocking exactly how powerful this pedal is. This is good. This is great. There's an infinite delay mode on this that sounds phenomenal. It is really cool. You capture a section of your signal and it will just hold it. It's not like cranking your feedback all the way up. It will just freeze that in the buffer and hang on to it. And from there, you can do really cool things. You can use things like delay multiplier to pitch shift that back and forth up and down an octave or several octaves. You can hold that and start messing with your modulation or messing with the feedback in kind of these, like in the really short delay modes to be able to create some really cool textures and beds and really rhythmic beds that you can play over top of. So yeah, that about does it for talking about this. Let's jump into some sounds. We're gonna go through some standard delay sounds, some modulation sounds, and then we're gonna get kind of weird with it, and then we're gonna do something cool at the end. Uh, thank you, thank you to Eventide for sending this out. Um, this is a very powerful, very fun, very, very ethereal and ambient delay. And it deserves a spot on the pedal board of anybody who's after really long delay times and really cool lo-fi reverse delays. Okay, so let's just uh, run through some kind of settings for the different delay times available and all that. And we'll just kind of play with the filter and the feedback and all that and we'll see what we come up with. We've got the filter all the way open right now, so there's no low passing happening to the delay. Uh, so what we just did was we, we caught the delay line that was currently in the buffer and set it to infinite repeat, so it's not 
just cranking your feedback knob. It's a, it's a freeze function where we can now manipulate that further. So for example, Okay, so uh, filters roll back now. It's about uh, two o'clock. Um, let's uh, let's play with some of the reverse modes. So here's the the transition as it happens. trick that I think is really cool is when you're in these really short delay modes uh, where you're basically just doing near zero repeats and getting these really cool modulation sounds like like that if you have the filter somewhere in the middle I like kind of two o'clock ish because you get a little bit of that resonance so like all the way open would sound like this When you crank that feedback up, you end up with these really cool overtones and like really weird kind of like frequencies that kind of pop out of the mix. So you've got... So feedback at zero. The Eventide Rose is a really, really beautiful, powerful modulated analog delay. Honestly, my biggest criticism of the pedal is I have a hard time using it in kind of short form songs and parts and stuff like that because I just get so caught up in the long, dramatic, soothing uh, repeats of it all. Like the filter's great, the delay line is great. Like the delay time itself is unbelievable. 50 seconds is a long time and, uh, and it's not, the most useful thing in the world when I'm writing songs on Instagram that are only a minute long in the first place. But I think that, that ethereal, ambient, really drifting away kind of sound is what makes this pedal so special. So uh, the way we're gonna close out this, this review is I'm just gonna set it to the longest delay time possible. I'm gonna crank the delay multiplier and uh, 
play a little bit and then we're just gonna let the video drift off for as long as this pedal wants to keep it going. So uh, sorry about how long this video is about to be.